Jesus and Krishna stood at the edge of the portal, their eyes fixed on the abyss before them. They both knew what lay ahead, a descent into the very heart of darkness, to face the devil himself. But they were not afraid. They were two of the most powerful divine beings in the universe, and they had faced countless challenges before. Without a word, they stepped through and felt themselves being sucked into the void. They tumbled through an endless darkness, their senses assaulted by a cacophony of screams and moans. After what felt like an eternity, they landed in a fiery realm, filled with demons and lost souls. This is hell, said Jesus, his eyes scanning the landscape. Krishna nodded. Yes, it is a place of great suffering and darkness. But we are here to restore order to the universe. They were ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. Suddenly, they heard a menacing growl and turned to face a group of demons, their eyes glowing with malevolence. Who dares to enter our realm? Growled one of the demons. We are Jesus and Krishna, said Krishna. We are here to defeat the devil and restore order to the universe. The demons laughed and charged at them with flaming swords. But Jesus and Krishna were ready. They stood their ground, and by opening their hearts, unleashed a torrent of divine energy of love pushing the demons far beyond the horizon. As the last of the demons disappeared, Jesus and Krishna looked at each other, their eyes blazing. This is just the beginning, said Jesus. There will be many more challenges ahead. Krishna nodded. But we will face them together and emerge victorious. And with that, they plunged deeper into the fiery depths of hell, ready to face whatever lay ahead. Demons with leathery wings soared overhead, their eyes filled with pure evil. The lost souls wailed and moaned, trapped in eternal torment. Krishna scanned the landscape, his eyes narrowed. This is worse than I thought, he said. Jesus nodded, his jaw clenched. But we knew it wouldn't be easy. Suddenly, they heard a low growl and turned to see a pack of demons charging at them. The demons were large and muscular, with razor-sharp claws and teeth. We have to be careful, said Krishna, taking a deep breath. These demons are powerful, and they won't go down without a fight. Jesus focused. We are ready for whatever comes our way. The demons closed in, their swords swinging wildly. But Jesus and Krishna were fast and agile, dodging the blows and Krishna struck back with precision. Suddenly, a huge demon lunged at Krishna, striking him with a fierce blow that sent him reeling backwards. Jesus rushed to his side, catching him before he fell. Krishna, are you okay? He asked, his voice filled with concern. Krishna clutched his side, gritting his teeth in pain. I'll be fine, he gasped. Just a flesh wound. But Jesus knew that the wound was more serious than Krishna was letting on. He focused, calling upon the power of God's love. A soft golden light emanated from his hands, enveloping Krishna's body. Krishna felt the warmth of the light spreading through him, easing the pain and healing his wounds. Thank you, my friend, he said, his voice filled with gratitude. Jesus smiled. We're in this together, Krishna. We have to look out for each other. Krishna nodded, his eyes shining. Let's finish what we started. As the last of the demons fell to the ground, Jesus and Krishna looked at each other, their eyes filled with determination. And with that, they continued on. As they approached the devil's lair, evil was felt in all directions. The ground was hot and cracked beneath their feet, and the sky was an eerie shade of red. Jesus and Krishna had fought their way through hordes of demons, and now they stood before the devil's throne room. The devil, filled with hatred, appeared before them. Welcome, my dear friends. Welcome, my dear he friends. He sneered. I've been expecting I've been you. Expecting you. Jesus and Krishna stood tall. We've come to end your reign of terror, said Jesus, his voice firm. The devil chuckled. You think you can you defeat me? You can I am the ruler of this I domain. Of this I have domain. power beyond your wildest dreams. He held out his hand, and a vision appeared before them. 
It was a vision of a world where they reigned as kings, with all the power, wealth, and pleasure they could ever desire. Krishna shook his head. We are not interested in your illusions. We have come to defeat you and restore balance to the universe. The devil's eyes narrowed. You are fools. He hissed. You will regret this decision. He lunged at them, his claws extended. Jesus and Krishna dodged his attack. Krishna's sword sliced the devil's shoulder and immediately he felt a stinging pain on his own shoulder. Krishna yelled to Jesus, Violence will not work against the devil! Jesus then began to pray. Jesus heard the voice of God. Listen to the voice of your contemplative friend. Jesus then saw a man, sitting cross-legged. He instantly recognized him as the Buddha. You know what you must do, Jesus. Jesus nodded with love in his heart and was transported back to hell. He opened his arms as the devil rushed towards him. You're mine! The devil screamed. The devil pierced Jesus' heart with his giant claw. Jesus' body fell limp to the ground. No! Yelled Krishna. The devil turned to trap Krishna's soul in hell forever when a hole appeared in the devil's chest. What? I the devil lamented, knowing that he was experiencing the karma of killing Jesus. All the evil of the devil's soul began to disappear until all that was left was an angel laying on the ground. At this moment, Jesus' eyes opened and he struggled to stand. It's over, said Jesus, his voice filled with relief. God has seen fit to bring me back again. Krishna nodded. We have brought peace to the universe, once and for all. The angel Lucifer expressed his sincere gratitude for reminding him that God's love is the answer. And with that, they turned and walked out of the devil's lair, their mission complete. Jesus and Krishna began their ascent back to the world of the living. They rose through the layers of hell, the darkness giving way to light as they climbed higher and higher. As they ascended, they could feel the weight of their battle lifting from their shoulders. And then, they were joined by the souls of those who had been trapped in hell. They followed Jesus and Krishna, drawn by their light and their strength. The two divine beings guided them back to the light, where they were welcomed with open arms. The souls wept with joy and relief, grateful to be free from the torment they had endured for so long. Finally, they emerged back into the world of the living, blinking in the bright sunlight. Jesus and Krishna looked at each other, their hearts overflowing with gratitude and love. We did it, said Krishna, his voice filled with wonder. Jesus nodded. We faced the greatest challenge of all, and emerged victorious. They looked out at the world around them, renewed and reborn. The air was sweet with the scent of flowers, and the sky was a deep shade of blue. The people they passed smiled at them, sensing the power and the light that emanated from their very beings. We have brought balance to the universe, said Jesus, his voice ringing with purpose. Krishna smiled. And we have shown that, even in the darkest of places, the light of hope can still shine. Go!